Welcome back to the channel, Shooters. If you have been here before, thank you for coming back. If you have not, make sure you go down in the description below and find out ways to support me and support yourself. Support us and everything that we like to do. It's the best thing to do. Now, gonna be a little different. I am going to give you a Kestrel class. These things are absolutely phenomenal. There's a lot to them. Um, and it's twofold. So one, I'm gonna be traveling for a month. So I need to make sure that I get good videos out for you while I'm gone. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it into four different pieces, uh, four different videos to make it more digestible. So it's not just like an hour and a half of going through this, okay? So make sure if this is something that you've been wanting to get into, there are other videos out there, but I'm gonna go really in depth on this and just basically run my mouth as I click through and you guys will be able to see on an overhead screen. So this is gonna be part three. Let's go ahead and get into it. So for video three, we're going to go over easy mode. So what you'd simply do is go into your um, main page where you select between weather, ballistics, or easy, all right? Hit the gearbox to go back. You still have your elevation, you still have your windage, brackets one, two. You have your target range, all right? Which that's all it's gonna give you. Your target setup, so you can capture environment, you can set all that, so start capture, in capture, um, direction of fire, 14 degrees, in capture, right? And then you do your different wind in there. Oh, target, I'm just gonna click through, continue, success. Now you, now adjust target range to match target, got it, all right? So, boom. Target setup is for that, for my, we well, can change whatever rifle. So it simplifies the original ballistic screen. And then you have your Cal MV guide and compass calibration and latitude. And that's all you need. So it takes the absolute essentials from your atmospherics and your ballistics, and it puts it into a really simple page for you. I can't say I ever use this page, all right? I like to have all the data close to me. I like to have everything I need accessible, so I never use the easy page. But I can definitely see for like your average hunter who's doing this, who wants to get into this, they wanna simplify their manipulation through their management of their information that they're getting and make um, everything a lot closer as far as navigating it. Going into your easy mode will definitely knock that all out for you. Um, I just simply prefer to run the ballistic so I have everything at fingers distance from me um, to get what I need. Like I said, I use, in the previous videos, I use the range card a lot. I use accuracy first a lot. And uh, I'm constantly going from different guns to different guns. So um, <clears throat> having everything really quickly accessible is nice. Plus shooting in a very dynamic and open area, the winds can be sh not just shifting a lot, but directions changing a lot. Um, so being able to set that manually real quick, however I want, capture. I mean, you can do it in easy mode, but I like, like I said, just have everything in one place. The easy mode though, I mean, that's it. That's all there is to it, right? I can quickly go here, whoops, back, easy, boom, and do exactly what I need to do. Target setup is nice because you can set that quickly. It takes you through the whole process that you need to engage one target in one simple click, 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 and go, which I think is actually pretty cool. Um, I might play with this more often simply because the when I'm filming, this might be a good use for that for me and uh, be able to do it. Also, latitude. The best way, you can manually input latitude, but the best way to do it is connect it to your phone. Just connect it to your phone, hit update latitude, it's gonna update right there to the uh, GPS position of your phone, which is really nice. Every time I go to a new place, that's exactly what I do. Um, that's one of the first things I do with it uh, after making sure, obviously, that my, um, Oh, and then after that, I make sure my, uh, my profile, my profile, my update system update is most current. Um, sometimes I want to make sure that I'm downloading over Wi-Fi network, depending on how big the update is, but also you can follow Kestrel on Instagram and they always put out when they're going to do an update. So that's nice. Um, that's too short for this. That's too short for one video. So let's, uh, let's go into ballistics. So in the let's do this. Let's do the order in which I, I, I do things for whatever I'm going to do for a shot. I'll go in and I'll click my target and I'll do direction of fire first. Um, 
simply because that's boom, that's me finding my target. All I do is I always flip this open so I can look through my wind meter and I'll take my direction of fire, I'll hold it straight in. It's going to, let's go ahead and do that. Hit capture. Now you can see it's changing. 10 degrees, two degrees, 354. So it's gonna settle somewhere depending on how still you are. All right, and then I'll face it whatever direction. So I'll just wait for it to settle. Boom, all right. Direction of fire is at 33 degrees, okay? And then I'll just, some other distance, 557 yards. Now, I'm not gonna worry about all this. I already caught it all, what I need. Now, I can hit this, this red button on direction of fire, on target, and I can set it whatever. So if I hit that red, it's gonna give me whatever compass direction that I want. Boom. It's gonna hold it, turn it on, turn it, and then I can hit it again and it locks in at that direction. So 10 degrees is where I lock, which is really handy. Wind, you can do the same thing, all right? That's the direction. It can read it, hit it, capture it, boom. Now, I don't really use the red button a lot. I probably should. Um, no wind. Now, red button doesn't work for that. Environment, I'm just gonna turn it live. It's gonna capture whatever I need. And then I'm gonna lock whatever at whatever I'm satisfied with. If it's consistent, again, you can spin, but you don't need to. And then range card and all that. So I, I prioritize environment, direction of fire, obviously target distance and wind. Those are the four. Environment, direction of target, distance and wind. Those are the four that are apps that, that I find the most important. Now that maybe seem like, uh, duh, but it is really easy if you don't do this a lot or if you do this a lot, both ha go hand in hand to just neglect, all right? Obviously you need to know the distance and you need to know the wind, but I know a lot of really experienced shooters that go out and do stuff and they never put in the uh, environment. They just don't pay attention to it. So go out, if you don't do this often, set your compass calibration, um, set your environment, put it on live, capture it, put it on lock. And if you're out there for hours, it's like say early in the morning to in the afternoon, environment's changed, make sure you're updating it, okay? I was in a class teaching in Texas and I had four shooters I'm spotting and I can, it's super high winds. I'm not only feeling and hearing wind speed, that's how I'm calling it besides just seeing it, but I'm also feeling the direction on my body. And every time it would do a major shift in both speed and direction, I'd have my shooters, hey, this is what it is now. Maybe you guys, if, depending on the drill we're doing, do different Kestrel-based, wind-based drills. Um, hey, capture the new direction and speed. Or hey, this is what the new direction and speed is. Um, go ahead and put it in. Um, a lot of different things you can do like that, but yeah. Super easy, super short, not like the first two that were really in depth, okay? So uh, make sure you are doing what you need to do. Atmosphere, direction of fire, target distance, and wind every single time, every single time, okay? And uh, yeah, next week's video, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna take the, a few of the things from the previous videos and condense them to how to use these as fast as possible to engage multiple targets, so stay tuned. That's all I got for you. If you guys have anything for me, let me know, put them in the description and make sure you get out and bang. If you are still here, clean your house, okay? Clean your house, get that black mold, pick up that little piece of trash you've been looking at, uh, do what you need to do. And you know what? Maybe if you have a spouse, they'll appreciate it so much. Oh, he took an extra step. I'm gonna do an extra step. And it may turn into a cascading effect, okay? That's what I got for you. You, get out and bang.